Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of expanded notation. This is standard 4.2b in the great state of Texas, and we're using item number 17, which is a new item type called multiple select, off the 2023 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we have a multiple select. This is worth two points here. We need to select two answers. So if we try to select just one, it is going to give us a warning saying we have not selected everything. Then if we select more than two, it's not going to let us. You see, I've got two selected. I'm trying to select a third. It's not an option. So it really wants us to just select two answers. Let's see how to do that. We need to find which of these uh, has the value, does 2 have the digit value of 2 times 0 0.1? Okay, so we've got three of these in standard form. We have two of these in word form. That's interesting. And it looks like we're going to the hundredths place. And 40, that looks like to the tens place. Okay, so it looks like I've got four digits. So let's just go ahead and build our place value right here. It looks like I've got a tens and a ones. It looks like I'm going to have tenths and hundredths. Now, since they give it to us in decimal form, we can go ahead and build it in decimal form, right? So let's build our place value. This is the ones place. I'm going to write a just the digit one to represent the value of any digit in that number. It's one, right? And this is our tens place because we start at the decimal and we go to the left. Ones and then tens. Right, so it's worth a 1, worth a 10. In the fourth grade, we really start looking at the first two places to the right of the decimal. So 0 0.1, 1 tenth. Okay, so we can write it a few different ways. We can write it 0 0.1. We can write it 1 over 10. We can even write it in word form 1 tenth. Two digits over, we write 0 0.01 because it's worth 1 hundredth. And we can even write it in words. One, write it like this, a hundredth. Make sure you get that th at, th at the end. All right, so let's take a look at our options here. We are looking for a 2 times 0 0.1. This right here, when we see this expanded notation like that, that tells us what place that 2 needs to be in. So that 2 needs to be in the 0 0.1 or the tenths. All right, so then all we need to do is align up our five different options, we need to find two that have a two in that tenths place. So let's see. One and, okay, so this and, that's how we say decimal, right? We might say one point two hundredths, but we say one and. So the and is our decimal point here. So one is literally just one. So I'll write A right here. So it's going to be one. It doesn't matter what's in the uh, the ones place. We're looking for the two in the tenths. And it's got two, but look, it names the spot as the hundredths. My hundredths member is over here. So if that's two hundredths, that means I've got a blank in the tenths. So we would write it as 1.02, one and two hundredths. Or we could write it as one and two hundredths if we wanted to make it a mixed number but that does not do it for us. We need it to in the tenths, okay? So 41 and 2 tenths. So 41, we're going to write 41. And 2, and look, they named the tenths. So that's what we're looking for. There's nothing in the hundredths. That's perfectly fine. We can write it 41 and you know, two tenths if we really wanted to, but that one is going to look good. So yes, that's got a two tenths. The rest are just standard form. So we're just going to write them down like we see them. I'm just going to call them A, B, C, D, E. So I've got a 2.1, two and one tenth. You notice the two there is in the ones place, not the tenth spot, so that's not going to work. I've got a 2.0. Same thing, not going to work. I do have a 10.26, 10 and 26 hundredths. And look, I've got that two right there in that tenth spot. So that's my other one. So these are my answers.